I'm Lynn Gibney, AccuQuilt's Chief Brand and Product Officer. Welcome to today's launch party called Fly Into Fun. Today we are launching this month's Dye to Try, the Go Bird and Birdhouse Dye. Yay, Yay, we're excited. Our Dye to Try series lets us bring exclusive new dyes to you faster than our usual launches. We only carry a limited number of these Dye to Try releases and we've been known to sell out the day of the show. With that said, be sure to get your hands on one of these dies or you might miss out. Now let me introduce you to your fabric nesters, Pam and Erica. <laughs> oh. Hi Lynn, it's nice having you back on the side. Yes, oh, we've missed you. you a few weeks here. Uh, quilters, let's introduce, um, we're super excited about this new die. Yes, right? we are. It's so much fun and it's so easy to use. That's right. We're always looking for new ways to bring you innovative products to help you create fun quilt blocks. Using AccuQuilt dies makes creating time-consuming blocks and shapes fast and easy so you can get back to sewing. All right, quilters, let's give this die to try and launch party started, shall we? we? Shall. As always, we've got a lot of fun planned for you today. We've got some great prizes, exciting project ideas, a flyingly fantastic mm -hmm. yes. show, and special deals. All right, ladies, I'm going to go greet our special guest Excellent. who will be helping us to reveal our new die in a little bit. So have a great show. All right, we'll Thanks, see you Lynn. in a bit. Thanks, Lynn. All right, quilters, let's not wait any longer. Let's take a look at our new Go Bird and Birdhouse die. Spring is finally here. The leaves are green, flowers are blooming, the birds are feathering their nests, and we're feathering your nest with a new dye. It's the Go Bird and Birdhouse. You want to sing it from the treetops when you see the adorable shapes that come with this flutterific dye. Our newest applique dye includes whimsical bird shapes to inspire beautiful springtime creations. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without all the shapes to make stylish houses for your feathered friends to roost in. The bird and birdhouse die comes on a six by 12 die board, so it will fit through all of your go cutters with a six by 12 cutting mat. It's ideal for nature themed quilts or to embellish outdoor projects. And it's a great way to make those scrap piles take flight. AccuQuilt makes it easier and faster to accurately cut all the shapes you need for all of your creations. So settle in for a bird watcher's paradise because at AccuQuilt we help you cut time so you can quilt more. All right, quilters, we are sure you have your bird's eye on this die. So we've got bundles ready for you. Now to get your order in during the show, use your phone's camera to capture the QR code. It'll take you right to the site. And if you don't have access to a QR reader, no worries. Just open up a new tab in your browser. Type in acuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your orders. That way you won't miss a minute of our fun show. That's right. All right. The very first bundle we have is the Go Bird and Birdhouse die with a two pack of six by 12 cutting mats. Now this bundle is valued at $100, but you can get it today for just $69.99, saving you over $29. Great intro deal. Great intro. All right, up next is our Go Bird Crazy bundle. You receive the Go Bird and Birdhouse die, the Go Birds die, the eight and a half inch, which finishes to eight inch square, and two six by 12 cutting mats and the Go Birds Embroidery Design CD by our good friend Marjorie Busby. This bundle is valued at $231, but you can add it to your collection today for $144.99, saving you over $85. Oh, there are so many fun things you can oh, do. Oh, and Marjorie has done such amazing jobs. You're, we'll show you yes. in a little bit. But what you're really gonna want is the Go Bird and Birdhouse Cutter Bundle if you don't already have a cutter. This includes the Go Bird and Birdhouse die and the Go Fabric Cutter Starter Set. Great way to get started. This bundle is valued at $420, but you can get it today for just $349.99. It's gonna save you over $69. 
Now, in addition to our bundles, we also have a great promo code, MY40OFF, which will take 40% off go dyes, cubes, and bundles. Some exclu exclusions apply, like the bundles we just mentioned. They're already marked down, so check the website for more details. Now, quilters, here's the deal. You're going to get free shipping when your order reaches $100 or more if you live in the contiguous U.S. No code is needed to redeem that offer. And if you're still needing to meet that $100 free shipping threshold, you can add one of several Go cutting mat bundles that we just added to the site in your cart. Now, these are great for stocking up your mat stash. Right. So remember, quilters, thousands of cuts out of your dies, hundreds, hundreds of cuts out of your mats. Great time to get mats. That's right. And wait, that's not all. Get double reward points when you make your purchases before midnight central time tonight. You can use these reward points towards a future AccuQuilt purchase. But I've got something else. Okay, tell us. Okay, when you place your order by 2 p.m. central time today, your order is going to fly out the door within 24 hours if all of your purchased items are in stock. Our warehouse team is already working on that. They ate their Wheaties this morning. They did. Ready. All right, quilters, you can quilt now, pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit accuquilt.com slash financing. All right, let's fly right in and take a look at this die. All right, so I have it here. We've got all this. the flying. We have all the, oh, so many tweets and stuff. Yes. All right, you'll see that it has all the separate pieces for the birdhouse. So you can make it as just so fun and scrappy as you would like. And the bird is fun. So let's look at the shapes. So the birdhouse and the roof and the edge, the little perch and the circle for the hole and the bird. Remember, this is a directional shape. Yes. So whichever way you want your birds to fly, you'll have to lay your fabric. Now, true confession, I don't think I would ever make a project with all of these applique shapes if I had to die cut them, if I didn't have a die to cut them. Right. But it's so quick and easy with the die. All oh, right. My gosh. It was so fast and easy. Um, you know, I, you and I tested this die, mm -hmm. and it was so great because the pieces come out so cleanly and they come yes. together perfectly. And again, I would never cut these shapes. But think about some other fabrics. We can always use pre-fused cotton which we have here today we'll show you how we're gonna okay right and let's just use for cotton. just one minute so fusible comes with two sides it's got yes. a paper backing right and it has a shiny side and to fuse it onto your fabric you're just going to go to the wrong side of your fabric press the shiny side onto the wrong side of your fabric that's it's as easy right. as that so this is the paper part so once we cut our shape look we can peel that paper back and here's the sticky fusible mm -hmm. that you're going to iron onto your project. That's right. Um, on tomorrow's show, we're going to iron some fusible on. So Fabulous. make sure you check it out Fabulous. there. Fabulous. All right. So normally, normal cotton, we can cut up to six layers at yep. a time. Once we've got that fusible, it's going to count as half a layer. So it is. fused fabric, we're going to cut up to four layers at a time. Right. But you could cut felt or wool or cork. Wouldn't oh, that be yes. super fun? Ooh, that'd be really mm -hmm. fun for your birdhouse. Uh huh. Craft Great foam. texture, craft yeah. foam. Yeah, I mean, just really fun things that you can um, do. All right, so let's cut a couple of birdhouses and show okay. you how they work. And again, we're just gonna lay our two layers down. You can always cut four. Now, once you put fusible Eric on it, you don't have to worry about that lengthwise grain. Right. Right, so you can just use up all your scraps and right. stuff. And I, I do, and I keep my fused scraps separate so that when I do oh, yes. things like that, if I just want the little wing to be a different color, I can do that. Right. This is on a six by 12 die board. It's gonna fit through all of our cutters, including our Go Me. But we're gonna use our Go Big today. How come? Because we can. Because we can. And by the way, saving your scraps like that, that's called being smart, not hoarding. Just, you know. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Just to clarify. Just to clarify. So what we've done here is cut an eight and a half inch square it's in Which one of our bundles, of bundle. part of the bundle. Yep. And we're going to use this as a background yes. to lay out a bird and a birdhouse. And we did two colors because you want to just kind of mix and match your colors. Oh, yeah. All right. And I've got some other colors here, too. Yeah, so we're going to just pull our pieces out. Just take it easy here. Don't forget the little wings. I, oh, listen, oh, yes. I have lost so many wings. Have you lost wings? Well, I, when I was making oh, projects yeah. and stuff. They are small. They are a little, but okay. then I just got a whole collection right. of them. So here's our here's our play pieces. Yes, let's do. Okay, let's start with a house. 
So there's our house. Look how nicely that fits when you put it on point. Right. I love seeing it on point. And, and then we'll do our red. Do a red roof. Yep. And a red perch. And a red base. And right here. Right. Red perch for our little bird. Okay. And here, I'm going to use, I'm going to make a bird. Oh, yeah, bird. make a different bird. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to show you how to do this, but this is crucial information. Yes. You want to make sure that there's enough room between the circle and the perch to fit a bird on there. Oh, that is important. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, that is important. we'll you talk about that want tomorrow. want your bird to be able to fit on your house and to get in and right. out. Yes. Right. And we have some free downloadable embroidery That's files right. for this that will... Um, uh, do all of the three stitches, the blanket mm -hmm. stitch, the satin, and the motif. We'll show you, we'll talk about it later in the That's show. That's right. But a great way, or you could do raw edge quilting, you could do all over quilting, just a really simple project. So many options, yeah. yeah. All, all right, right, here we go. Hand me those pieces. I am, don't lose the wings. I won't. All right, quilters, we have such a great treat for you today. We are about to be joined by go-getter Marjorie Busby, who is a quilter, designer, and a digitizer. That's right. Marjorie has been a lifelong stitcher and quilter and retired in 2009 from a 25-year clinical research career to quilt full-time. Yay. Yay. She was one of the first to adopt the AccuQuilt system and has been a devoted fan ever since. Welcome to the show, Marjorie. We're Hello, so happy. Hello, Marjorie. Hi, thank you. It is so nice that you're here with us today. Thanks for coming back. I'm happy to be here. All right, so Marjorie, you made this such a fun pattern for us today using the Go Bird and Birdhouse die launch. Can you tell us what inspired the design and the pattern? Well, I was inspired by an email I got from Spoonflower. They were telling about the Pantone color of the year. Yes. And it's a periwinkle color and it's just beautiful. It's called Very Peri. And you know, I bought the fabric. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> and, of course. Yes. At the same time, I was working on the uh, birdhouse embroidery and somehow the two just came together. Excellent. Oh, I love it. And I love that yes. color. Right. So, now besides, um, whoop, go ahead. Anyways, the two came together. And as I was working, I wanted to uh, have some birds on there that were pieced, as well as the applique birds. So I wanted flying geese. Ah. And I didn't want to do a wild goose chase because I didn't want to piece that many <laughs> flying geese. So I ended up putting the geese on their side, if you can see that, I'm yes. going to step aside. Yes. And you see how much motion you get? You really do. You know, and Marjorie, I love that because I didn't understand that those were flying geese until we talked about it. So this is they, the pattern you designed. And then will you tell us about the little birds or the birdhouses? They have a theme, right? They do have a theme. So, um, and you use the, now what size, wait, before we get to that, what size cube did you use for that, Marjorie? I used an, I used an eight inch cube. Okay. And I used shape four, which is the quarter square triangle. Oh, there we and go. And shape five, which goes on the side of the quarter square triangle. And then shape one are the cornerstones in the, are oh, the cornerstones oh. here. Yes. And so, then did you use setting triangles as well? Absolutely. These are the setting triangles. And look how wonderful it is that you have a corner. Yes. That, that fits. That fits and uh, the grain is correct. I love it. Yes, it is wonderful. And then, of course, I use strip dies for um, the borders and binding. Perfect. That's great. Okay, now will you talk about the theme for your quilt? Because I think it's so beautiful. It is. The theme for the quilt really was seasons. I'm not sure why I did that, but it just <laughs> seems that bird houses are homes and birds nest. And we all like to nest. So it seemed to me that the seasons were the way to go with this. Uh, so... That's what I did. And many of the houses actually will work for more than one holiday. 
This one is actually St. Patrick's Day, and yes. you've got a little kettle of gold and a bird sitting on the rainbow. So precious. And some shamrocks floating through the air. Uh, so that really is March and okay. St. Patrick's Day. And this house really is a word play on the comforts of home. So, so that, you know, you think about all the comforts of home and that's what is here. Yes, I love that. Oh, and this look. one, I, I see that as the little mama bird. Oh, maybe and for Mother's Day, for me. Right, and sh there she is with, or her birthday, or, but anyway, there she is with, with the light shining through the window and the little picket fence. I love the picket and fence. The next one is sort of a generic, uh, pretty one that you can use for a lot of different things, but it has a motif around the birdhouse opening. Very fancy. It is fancy. I like that. That's it a fancy, fancy bird. And I call this birdhouse love. And while it's wonderful for Valentine's Day because the bird is holding a heart and there is another heart motif on there, I really think that it can be used for birthdays and and Mother's Day and lots of other like times. Like an anniversary month. Yes, absolutely. When you want oh, it's to so express sweet. love. Yes. This is so Anna. cute. Okay, this, this might is, be my favorite one, Marjorie. <laughs> this is Christmas. And what's really nice is that you can't see it as well in the picture, but those stockings have two beautiful little snowflakes on each oh, one. Oh my goodness. Yes, and there's a wreath, of course. The wreath the around door. the door. Yes. I thought that was brilliant, <laughs> yes. by the way. Yes. Just yes. brilliant. Oh, there's and the bird. Is, Yes, the flock of birds who are uh, just flying around. <laughs> yeah, the family. The family. Yes. Oh. And this is a flower garden, and you can see that we added an extra roof detail to the house. Right. And it it's wonderful for spring, um, Easter, almost any time like that. And then this is another flower one, but mm -hmm. the bird is holding a flower in his mouth. So uh, he or she is offering a flower to someone. And I think that's just a really nice summary. I think that one's, I was gonna say great for like June. Yeah, These absolutely. are so creative, Marjorie. Yes, you did such a great job. Okay, <gasps> this is my second favorite. Oh, yes. The okay, so the here's two. Memorial Day or July 4th. Oh, there we go, yeah. yeah. Yes. So I think that's a, a fun, fun. Um, I love the service. little um, stars that serve like as the little border, like garland on it. Yes. Fireworks. Right. This is my favorite. Oh my, <laughs> all the it's Halloween. Halloween. It's Halloween is Pam's favorite. Yeah. Yes, a big orange moon with the bats flying through the air and the ghost floating along. Oh. And the little bird has a witch hat on. It's just darling. It's just so cute. Oh, oh look. And this one is called Snow and it's hard to see in the picture but I used a metallic silver thread for the snowflakes. Oh, I see the garland. The yes. What a good idea. Yes. The garland yes. along and the roof. And in, in person, that they just sparkle. Now, uh, but in, there's a little snowman with his hat. And for Nebraska, this could be January or, I don't know, April. Yes. Because sometimes right. it snows there. <laughs> I think it's going to snow soon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my gosh. And Look at this one. Of course, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving with a pumpkin and some greenery and a uh, happy Thanksgiving greeting. Thank you. So sweet. Okay, those are all so clever, Marjorie. Yes. I mean, you obviously put a ton of thought into it, and I just think they're so cute. Oh, they really are. Now, Marjorie, your pattern and embroidery are so wonderful. We are so glad you shared that with us. I've got so many ideas in my yes. head. I mean, it's wonderful <laughs> as a quilt. But I'm already thinking about making it as like little monthly mini quilt. I mean, right. all the ideas. 
Well, and tote bags and wall hangings yes. and table, table runners, runners and you name it. Yeah. <laughs> Door it's, banners. Yes, just darling. Oh, so cute. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your project with us. I, it's just so exciting. It is. Well, thank you for having me. You bet. We'll see Marjorie. you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, I loved it everything about that everything okay the flying geese was brilliant yes because in my quilting head i was trying to figure out how we were going to do that right border. and using the square then from the cube for right. the cornerstones because right. that's the sashing right so clever all right quilters marjorie's pattern and embroidery are available as a bundle for purchase on our website so be sure to add it to your cart so you can start creating with our new die and that should bring your total up over a hundred dollars there you go. Free. There you go. All right, quilters, now that you've seen the new die in action, we are going to introduce you to our experts. We've challenged both of them to create projects using the Go Bird and Birdhouse die. First, we have Tammy White. Tammy's an experienced quilter whose love of quilting started 40 years ago when she made her first quilt for her baby daughter. Her corporate career as a cost engineer has taken her to many states and allowed her to experience quilting in different American cultures. Tammy has used the AccuQuilt system since 2009, and she loves making memory quilts. Next up, we have Shannon Patterson. Now, Shannon has been quilting for the past 25 years and brings her manufacturing experience into quilting by searching out efficient shortcut techniques to help streamline the process. She helps others build skills and master techniques while inspiring creativity. Shannon's quilting pursuits include, well, pretty much everything, including machine piecing, long arm quilting, machine embroidery, English paper piecing, foundation paper piecing, and of course, applique. Both of our experts today have made such great projects in yes. the past, and they're just so incredibly creative. So I'm creative. really excited about it. All right, I'm excited to see the ideas our ex experts come up with, but first, why don't we give away a Go Bird and Birdhouse die to a lucky viewer who registered for today's show. I like that idea. Okay. Our giveaways are one way that we like to thank you for being a part of the AccuQuilt family. All right, today's lucky winner of a Go Bird and Birdhouse die is, drum roll please. <laughs> Jennifer M. of Brookston, Indiana. Congratulations, Congratulations. Jennifer. She's going to love this guy. Oh, she will. All right, quilters. Now, if you're just tuning into today's show, we have Go Bird and Birdhouse bundles available for you. Be sure to get your hands on one of the new die to try while it's available and ready to fly out the door straight to you. Don't forget, we also have a promo code MY40OFF, M-Y-4-0-O-F-F which will take 40% off go dies, cubes, and bundles. Some exclusions apply for the offer, so be sure to check the website for details. So great day to fill out your cube collection and your companion sets, strip, strip dies, setting spring, triangles, setting triangles, spring dies to go oh. with your other appliques. Flowers. Flowers, we have so many great flower dies. And here's why, because you're gonna get free shipping when your order reaches $100 or more if you live in the contiguous US. Now, no code is needed to redeem that offer. Yep, and we have lots of ideas on ways you can get there. Yes, and be sure to add one of our Go Cutting Mat bundles to your cart. If you need items to meet that free shipping threshold, don't forget, mats are gonna wear out, dies are gonna last for a long, That's long right. time. That's right, get some mats. Remember, you'll get double reward points when you make your purchase before midnight central time tonight. Now, those you can use towards your future AccuQuilt purchases. Plus, if you place your in-stock order by 2 p.m. central, so it's like 12, 25, yeah. um, your order will ship within 24 hours. Live right out the door. Take advantage of all these wonderful offers today. It's a pretty tweet deal. It's a tweet deal. <laughs> We're here okay. all day. All day. Quilters, it's time to check out what our, our first expert has come up with. All right, Tammy, what inspiration do you have for us today using the Go Bird and Birdhouse die? Well, hey, ladies, it's great to be back. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me play with this phenomenal birdhouse die. I am over winter, and this gave me some hope that springtime is just around the corner. Um, you know, I always test out the dies with all different kinds of stuff. And the only thing I noticed when I was testing this die is you have possible uh, directional pieces right here. So if you want your bird going this way or you want your bird going this way, you're gonna have to go um, up 
or down with your fabric or whatever you're cutting with. So for this challenge, I chose to go off fabric. So I'm, I used everything that wasn't fabric. So I tried out um, cork fabric. I did uh, hard stock paper. I did um, light memory paper. Um, I did sticky back vinyl, felt, and by far, my favorite was the sticky back vinyl. It has, I had so much fun playing with it. Now I woke up this morning and thought, hey, why can't we dress up a gift bag? So I have two different cuts of, uh, there's some felt and hard cardstock. So we could build birdhouse on our bag, either out of the hard cardstock or the felt, and with all the accessory pieces, and decorate a gift bag for some occasion. Now, one thing I did um, do is the sticky back vinyl was great, and I could cut six layers of it. It's really a fine, thin vinyl, and so um, the only thing I do recommend is that you put a little piece of painter's tape on it to hold it in place because it's fabric and it, it's not fabric and it's slippery. So one of the one idea I had was I'm moving into a new home and I am going to journal our new adventure. So I made this using again the classic alphabet in my little birdhouse. So I've got a new home memory album. And another thing I did was I went down to the local craft shop and I found this really fun chalkboard. So this is one of those those chalks you can write with a the chalk on it. Well, I just used my sticky back vinyl and used uh, my birdhouse here and again, my classic alphabet to make the home sign. So this is gonna be a great fun entryway uh, sign for the new house. Well, that's what I've got for you and um, I'll be back in just a few minutes to share with you my final project. I love that. I think that was so cute and I love that she used sticky back vinyl. I hardly ever think of using I it. I don't think about it either. Ever. And the chalkboard so people can write a message. Yes, it's just adorable. I can hardly wait to see what her finished project I know. Today. All right, quilters, in case you're new to AccuQuilt, this show is a Die to Try launch party. The Die to Try series is where we release a limited quantity of dye on the first Tuesday of every month. And our shipping team has just said they are working really hard back there filling orders. You're getting a lot of orders. Yeah, there. make sure you get that dye before it sells <laughs> before out. It. So this program allows us to offer you the chance to try a new and fun dye. Our Dye to Try dyes are only available on AccuQuilt's website, so you won't find them anywhere else. By making them exclusive, we're able to bring new products to you faster than the average launch. But there's only so many, so when they're gone, they're gone. They're gone. All right, quilters, it's time to check in with our second expert. Shannon, what inspiration do you have using the Go Bird and Birdhouse dye? Well, ladies, this applique dye has been so great to work with. As I'm looking at it, I'm thinking of spring, new beginnings, uh, spring cleaning, organizing. So with this dye, I looked around the house, found some supplies that I could use, and those being these wooden embroidery slash quilting hoops. So these, for whatever reason, find their way home with me. You know, you can pick them up around town. These are gonna be the frame, and this will be my canvas. And this is a quilted sandwich where I have continuous line quilted, some vines and some leaves for my background. And so with that, I'll be using the dye and creating some sort of organizing project. Stay tuned. Oh, okay. Shannon is such an engineer. She is though, right? isn't she? She thinks and she's methodical and she lays things out. And I just, I've spent some time with her. I just, I just think she's fabulous. But you know, we all kind of end up with those hoops, don't we? All the time. I mean, I was just helping a friend organize her supplies and she had a whole handful of them. She's like, I don't even know where I got these. Well, we'll what see. What do I do with Shannon them? Does with now it. we know. Yep. All right, quilters, we're going to ask you to vote on your final expert project a little later, so be sure to stick around for the final project reveals. I think it's going to be so great. It is. All right, quilters, if you're not already, make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms. That's right. We love to share your stories, quilts, and more. We also share our behind-the-scenes videos on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Last Friday's behind-the-scenes will be hilarious. It will be. Mm -hmm. That's right, you don't want to miss out on any of our behind the scenes. Though I have to say the farm animals, hands down, one of my top favorites. Yes, yeah, that was, was a really a great, good one. It was a great job. All right, quilters, now, one of the darling samples that we're going to show you later during our trunk show 
was made um, with our Go Bird and Bird House die. It has a border of rectangles. Yes. And I thought it would be fun to show everybody how to cut rectangles using your strip dies because they're 40% off today. That's right. Okay. So this is such a great technique and it can be used so many different projects. We right. want to cut for today two inch by three and a half inch rectangles. So that means we need the strip dies in those two sizes, the two inch cut and the three and a half inch cut. Right. So you always want to start with the larger size. Right. So this is our three and a half inch strip die and it cuts a three and a half inch strip. Correct. So we want it to finish by one and a half by three. Okay. All right. So here's the die. We have some great videos on how to cut with our strip dies. Yep. Okay. And you can always cut six layers. Um, we'll just cut some red ones here today. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, oh, here, I'm gonna turn it the oh, right way. Both. We'll cut them both, we can. Yeah. Okay, well, Erica says we can, so we, we can. will. So what we're gonna do is, I just cut with the fabric. Okay. All right, and we're just gonna cut some strips. So what you wanna make sure is that this fold is parallel to that black line. That's right. right? Because if you go past the black line, it's gonna stop cutting there. But you wanna make sure that you don't go beyond the black line then down at the other end because the same thing will happen at the other end. Yep, so I usually cut off my little salvage, but we didn't today. And you're gonna to wanna to use your big 10 by 10 20 24 mat. Yep, because and everything so. has to be covered that you want to cut. So if right. you want that cut, you have to cover it with both fabric and a mat. Yes, otherwise nothing happens. Yes. All of our strip dies will fit through your Go Fabric Cutter as well, which is one of those bundles. So if you're thinking, yes, oh, what right. cutter should I get? That bundle is great. It's getting our fabric here, Erica. All right. Excited about this. Okay, so we're gonna give it a little love. Static builds up in here, so much static. All right, so here's our biggest strips. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this. And boy, we're keeping those scraps whole. Oh. All right. <laughs> now, here's the trick. And yes. this is such a super slick trick. Okay, so we're gonna start. You wanna start with the burgundy? Yeah, we'll okay. start down here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my strips and I'm gonna line them up right here at 90 degrees. The trick is the folds have to go past the blades. Right. All right, so I'm gonna do what we call fan folding. Erica, how many layers can we cut? We can cut up to six. Yes. So it's gonna work just perfectly. It's gonna work perfectly. Now, some of you will think, oh, this is all I can cut. They say it in that voice too. Yes. But the answer is no. no, no. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna line this black line up with that blade. Mm -hmm. Now this is 90 degrees, right? Right. So now I can do the exact same thing. I can come right here. I can go back and forth. All right, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Yep, and make sure my strips are straight. And you could continue all the way yes, you down the die board. Could. You absolutely could. Here is could. the big tip, move your ruler. Yes, oh yes, so. before you go through the cutter. Yes. That is a good tip. All right, we're gonna put our mat on, ta da ta da. And this is great. Um, this is when I cut um, scrappy rectangles. Yes. This is totally how we do it. I just lay it there. I cut the bigger yep. ones, turn them, cut the smaller this ones. This is a great way to use your scraps. It's a great way to make a piano key border. Um, our pattern shows them end to end for like an internal scrappy border. It mm -hmm. works with, and it works with all the different strip dies. So if you wanted a really chunky border, you could do that with little chubby rectangle. Chunky monkey. Chunky okay, monkey look rectangles. at these perfect rectangles. Look at all of these though. Okay, which are so hard to cut with a rotary cutter and ruler. Yeah. But look. Look at all have these. Tons of them. We've got, and then we're just ready to sew them together. We could, like I said, we could do a, a piano key border and line them up like this. Our project is going to have them all lined up end to end. Yes. Works out perfectly. And, a, and okay, you can make rectangles of any size. Yep. We have 18 sizes of strips. Make good use of Make them. good use. All right, so stay tuned for our trunk show to see two versions of the finished project using this technique. That's right. Now, quilters, if you want more inspiration like what you see on the show, there are three new blogs posted every single week. 
They've got innovative ways to use the dies you already own and maybe just inspire you to pick up a few new ones. Yes. Tomorrow's post is all about the Go Bird and Birdhouse die and the projects. So discover everything we mention and more when you subscribe to AccuQuilt's blog. And quilters, don't forget, we have Go Bird and Birdhouse die bundles available for you. Be sure to place your orders before this new die to try while it's available and ready to ship. That's right. You can also use the promo code MY40OFF to take 40% off of Go dies, cubes, and bundles. Now, some exclusions apply for this offer, so be sure to check the website for all the details. And don't forget free shipping when your order reaches $100 or more. If you live in the contiguous U.S., no right. code is needed at checkout for this offer. That's right. So if you aren't quite to $100, Add a mat bundle, add some strip, strip dies, dies, add all kinds of things. I was thinking some bob dies because as we get ready Ooh, for spring. Yes. Yeah. Yep. All right. So you know you're going to need those. We've got those cutting mat avail bundles available right. too. So those are really good. You can always add those to your cart if you're still needing those extra items just to push over the top. And don't forget, you'll get double, double reward points when you make your purchases before midnight central time. You can use these reward points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. Plus, don't forget, our energetic warehouse team yes. will get your orders that are placed by 2 p.m. central time today flying out the door within 24 hours. Don't miss out on all of these fantastic deals. That means you could get it by the weekend. Yeah. And you could sit and sew because basketball is over. So what else are we going to do? I sew. We're going to sew. Quilters are good friends at Figo oh, Fabrics I forgot. that helped us make a wonderful <laughs> launch party by giving us some great fabric selections. Now, these are identical fabric selections, they and are. they have a bird theme to they them. They do. Can you so believe that? here is this beautiful bird, mm -hmm. and here's bird tracks. Bird tracks. And pretty little dots, little wood, little look. wooden, and feathers. More tracks. More tracks. Pretty, Cute pretty little flowers. flowers. And I love this floral print. I just it's love beautiful. it. Beautiful. I, 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 in my quilting head, already have some things I could think yeah, of. Yeah, I. Me too. Me yeah. too. So yours is actually different. Do you want to oh, go through yours? They are. So this is a different colorway. Oh, look at that! I thought they were the same. So they're the same prints, but I've got a different colorway. Yeah, she has the blue, and I have kind of the purples. Oh. Look at how pretty that is. I'm usually purple girl, but I kind of like this. Ooh, look at the pretty green. Yes, right Ooh, there. Ooh, right there. Oh, and that's like pine needles. It is. I love that. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll give it away though. I, I could, I could, I could be happy with either one. The first winner of a Figo, Figo Fabrics I Cannot Talk Today selection is <laughs> drum roll, please. Karen G of Rainier, Oregon. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, the winner of the second selection of fabric is, drum roll please. Carrie M. from Woodenville, Washington. You know where that is. Yeah, I used to live right around the corner from there. There you go. Hey, huge shout out to Figo Fabrics for sponsoring today's show. We know our quilters are gonna love using this fabric to make their projects. I think so. I do too. Quilters, at the start of the year, we introduced our Paying It Forward campaign called Covering the World One Quilt at a Time. Now this campaign is a collaboration between AccuQuilt and Moda Fabrics with Baby Lock as our sponsor. Together, one person from our teams is donating a quilt each week of 2022 to a charity of their choice. Last week's donation was made by Moda team member Michelle White. Michelle made her quilt using alternating nine patch blocks with a two and a half inch cut two inch finished squares. There is a die for that. As for the fabric, she used Creativity Glows by Creativity Shell for Moda Fabrics. Michelle donated her quilt to Day One Bags, which is a nonprofit organization that provides new duffel bags and backpacks to uh, foster care youth. Collecting quilts and pillowcases for foster youth transitioning to young adults is an extension of their work. To learn more about Day One Bags, you can visit dayonebags.org. What a wonderful donation and a beautiful yes, quilt. That is a beautiful quilt. And that would be so meaningful to someone to receive that quilt, I know. Right, and I love that it could totally be scrappy. You yes. can make it a colorway. It in so many different colors. That's a great quilt. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, Michelle. Now, be sure to visit our website for details on how you can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time. You can go to learn.accuquilt.com slash quilt the world 2022. 
That's right. And we're drawing prize winners every month this year. Anyone who makes a quilt, donates it to a charity of their choice, and shares their quilt publicly on Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag, hashtag Quilt the World 2022, is eligible for our prize drawing. Exactly. And there have been some amazing some quilts. Amazing quilts and some amazing quilters. Yes. Now, the monthly prizes are valued at $200 with $100 in Moda Fabrics. Be still my heart. And $100 in AccuQuilt reward points. Be still my heart. Oh my. Heart. So let's announce the lucky prize winner for March. All right, the lucky winner for March is, drum roll please. <laughs> Sherry G of Graham, North Carolina. Congratulations, Congratulations. Sherry. Oh, I wonder what she's gonna get. Right. Sherry, tell us what dyes you're gonna get. Yeah. We wanna see. All right, quilters, let's reveal today's final projects because I really wanna see what oh, I do too. up with. So, Tammy, what do you have for us? Well, hey, I'm back with my final project. I found a really cool unfinished board at the local craft shop, and I made a welcome sign for our front porch. I used the classic alphabet, and I also used the stems and leaf die to make a tree with my hanging birdhouses. Here it is. Welcome. And Pam just flew back onto the set. <laughs> that was super cool. I totally forgot <laughs> something that we need for later. That was a really cool project. I love, you know, I just don't think about all the options no. that are available in different mediums, like the wood panel and right. the, the sticky back and vinyl. painting and just yeah. creating something different. You know, as quilters, we always think, oh, we got to make a quilt. Right, but we you make know, lots of other things. It can be crafty, too. All right, Shannon, what did you create? Well, ladies, this is Birdhouse Organizer. So you can see how I used that wooden embroidery hoop as well as my background. And then what I've come to really love, this Birdhouse applique as my background. And now I can organize and put some things away and know where to go look for them when I need them in the future. I hope you like my Birdhouse Organizer project. I need one of those in every room. Every room, possibly every room. like around our necks. So a great idea, because don't you just have hoops of various sizes? Yes, yes. yes, and aren't you always losing your scissors or forgetting where your rotary always. cutter is? Always. always. All right, Quilters Voting is now open, so let us know which expert project was your favorite. If you're watching via the registration link or in YouTube, you can click on the vote box that is below or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching on Facebook, vote from the box that displays over the video. Now, while we wait on votes to come in, let's make our way into today's trunk show. Hey, Lynn, what do you have for us today? Ooh, all right. All right, so, so excited to be back. Yes, we've missed you. All right, this is the Go Chirp Corner Table Topper by Missy Shepler of Shepler Studios. And this version uses Dear Stella fabric. She's got a nice Cute. tight stipple for her quilting. Yes and rectangles, which is why we showed you how to cut those rectangles. Right. But Pam made her own version of this I, one because she fell in love. I did, I really liked this project and I thought it would be a great way to kind of use up my scraps. And so I, who am the ultimate scrappy, bright, modern quilter, um, with the help of Erica kind of chose these fabrics, which is a completely different look, but the same quilt, which I think is great. And this is the project that we are making tomorrow on AQ Live. And I love it, Lynn, because this is just a big square and then we iron everything down mm -hmm. and then you can sew those rectangles together. So a great beginner quilter project. Now, did you raw edge applique as well? No, I just did st just straight stitches down. Just okay. quilted over the top of it. Yes. Couldn't be easier. Yeah, so lots of options. All right, yes. turn around and show us the back. Okay, mine is solid. Ta-da. This has some pretty. This has some pretty. Yes, Missy's is cute yes. on the back. And she. Did her oh, corners. she did her corner pocket. Yes, oh, which is really nice Missy. and smart and something I never Very did. clever. We totally need to do that. All right, next up we've got the Go Birdhouse Nine Patch Party Throw Quilt. It's by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. This is a party in a quilt. This is, and she used that eight inch square, finished square. Right, that's in the bundle. The center of her basic nine patch. Two and a half inch strip. Yep. Cut those cornerstones. Yep. Okay, but this is super slick. So you and I, this is, what is this, Erica? It's a half square triangle unit. From the eight inch From the cube. eight inch cube. So she used the larger half square triangle unit and then the larger square. So those are shapes. One is the square, three is the big triangle, yeah. and then two is the small 
cornerstones to but do this design. We thought you could use setting triangles you in could, two different colors could. to create that border, right? I just think this is so cool. I just love it. And I love that the yes. birds are everywhere. Yeah. Yes, so you can just make it unique. It right. is so, so cute. Love Lynn, that, Marianne. And look, it's white on the back. Yeah, pretty, uh, just a basic back. It's nice, but you can see the quilting a little bit better on the back. Yeah, so cute. Thank you, Lynn. Next up, we have a pair. We have the Go Day and Night Wall hanging by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. And Lynn knows all birds. about these. Yes. By day and by night. <laughs> she does. So these are also raw edge applique. So these are super quick and easy uh, projects. And uh, Marianne uh, used uh, shapes out of the cube to create that second birdhouse. So that's really fun. And then use the circle yeah. from the birdhouse die. Mm -hmm. the, um, the posts are made with a strip, uh, the multi-strip cutter and just uh, put borders around it. So this is great. Quick and so easy. it cuts the one, one and a half and two inch mm -hmm. strips. And then the moon, Erica, do you want to tell everybody? It's such a slick trick. It's such a slick trick. So what she did was she cut a circle and then she just took that circle and moved it over on the die to cut another circle. And that gave her that crescent moon. Right. Isn't that clever? And this is one of our stars from one of our star dies. We think Sarah Vedler's stars. Yep, yep absolutely. But Day and night, look at how pretty that is. It is okay, so Marianne, I don't cute. know where you got this fabric, but I am in love with yes, this. Yes, we love that too. Very pretty. And the backs are um, pretty, uh, just a look, solid. she did little but birds. Nice, you can see the. We can see the little Quilting. birds. Yeah. Oh, so cute. All right, next nice. up we have a really great tote bag. This is the Go Birdhouse tote bag. It's by Marjorie Busby of Blue Feather Quilt Thank Studios. Thank you, Marjorie, for joining us today. Yes. So this is flying geese from the four inch. She knew cube. she needed to have flying geese with the bird die, didn't she? She yes. did. She That's did. Funny. And then on the back, there's a nice little detail on the back here with the oh, little the birds. Oh, the cute little birds. I love the batiks. I love the fabrics. But if you turn it around again, the birds are a little pocket, aren't they? Yes, they are. Look at that. Yeah. This is a great tote bag. And this is a great it? basic pattern for a tote bag, too. Is it lined, Lynn? So, the, yeah, the inside. It's a nice, quick and easy. Um, yes. Uh, see our little tag inside? I yeah. like that. Very yeah. nice. And the straps are made with strips. Yep. Oh, there and the straps are long enough to fit comfortably over your arm. I, I get annoyed with tote bags that then have these little, you know, yes. tiny strips. They won't fit over my shoulder. So that's a fun project. You can put any, well, use any of your applique shapes on it. Right, and to put your craft projects in or your quilting projects your English in. English paper pieces English paper so you, piece before you head off to the soccer field. Which is where I used to English paper piece. <laughs> all right, and here's my absolute favorite, even though it's a it's a tough one today. They're all, all right. so amazing. It is. This one's also by Marjorie Busby. This is called Love Brings Us Home Wall Hanging. And Marjorie did a great job. She used our lowercase carefree alphabet. Mm -hmm. And um, you could totally change the saying to whatever. Maybe your family has a motto or, you know, yes. a family whatever. Um, you could totally use this. And these are those for purchase ones that are on her CD. Yes, those are so cute. Which is that bundle, those right? Are, no, that's a different one. Oh, this is hers. And okay. The background quilting it reminds us of water. It's mm -hmm. It does, it does. Or wind. 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 Around here right now, it's wind. That's true. Uh, what is the color of wind? Blue. Think about it. <laughs> It'll make She had sense. to explain it to me. <laughs> and show us the back, Lynn. So I think, yes, and this is the perfect size wall hanging, I think. It really is. Especially for someone's sorry. And of course, Marjorie put a sleeve on yes, the back. Thank you, Marjorie, sleeve. for Thank you, Marjorie. do all the things. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. I just is. love that one. Yeah. All right. And it's so sweet. Where can we find all these patterns? You can find all these are free downloads. They're at AccuQuilt.com. So you can even get your patterns downloaded, get your fabric all lined up before your die gets there. That there way you you're going to be ready to go. Go. All right, ladies. So I mentioned this one's my favorite. I think it's coming home with me. It'll be perfect <laughs> in my studio. She'll make Enjoy. her own. She's, She's just going to be inspired by it. Right, Lynn? Yeah. Right, Lynn? That's right. She has a stack. Right? <laughs> All right, quilters, our experts are so creative. We love how Tammy used the ghost stems and leaves die to make her tree. Mm -hmm. So let's take a quick look at that die. Oh, yeah. We have projects over here, so i got to move some stuff. So give me a second yeah, We'll here. give you a sec. There we go. 
So she used, she was working with sticky back vinyl, but it doesn't matter what fabric you're using. Right. So here's the stems and leaves die. This is a really useful die. You're going to use this so much. If you don't have one of these, this is a great day with that 40% uh, mm -hmm. off code. Right because it's just really versatile. Who wants to try and cut those by hand? So I made a project last year, maybe for mm -hmm. Mother's Day, um, that had birds in a bird's nest. Yes, and, and you, this was you cut built out of, it all Yeah, I out built of it these. out of this. So this is an example of the free downloadable embroidery with just the satin stitch for all mm -hmm. the pieces, but you can do so much with this die, right. super versatile. Yeah, it's just great. All right, so while we're talking, Whenever I see a project, you know, like that, I immediately start to think about what dyes I can right. use to make it more quickly, right? Right. So we encourage you to always be thinking about other uses for your dyes as well, like building a tree from stems and leaves, right? right? So now, Marjorie built her birdhouse yes. on those eight and a half inch squares set on point. Right. But if you want your block, oh, see, there's so many good things over so here. So many goodies. Hold on. Oh, here, it's right here. Oh. It's right here. <laughs> That's your big one. There we go. There it is. Yeah, because I have the little one. Okay. But if you want your block straight with more room to create, maybe you want to add more birds, go to our largest square, the new 10 and a half inch Go Big Square, um, which finishes to 10 inches, uh, like we have here. Remember, this is for the Go Big, big. Electric. If your machine has a handle, this will not fit through that. But That's that right. eight and a half will through your Go. That's right. All right. And Tammy also used the Go Classic Alphabet die. Now those letters are only two inches high. Um, we saw the, the Carefree, which is right. three inches high. So between the two of them, they're very versatile. You can use them in so many projects. Right. That Alphabet die is really invaluable. And 40% off today. That's right. Right. All right, so fans of machine embroidery, don't forget, we have three embroidery downloads. So let's talk about this and we'll leave our square underneath there. Right, so if you're wondering what those three basic stitches that we have for our shapes are, here is an example. Here's the blanket stitch. Here's our motif stitch, which is just a really fun little feathery stitch. And here is the satin stitch, really right. tight, close together. So something you're gonna wash a lot or um, like a wearable, a table runner, right. something like that. And Again, these are free downloadables, and it is going to allow you to build those birdhouses. Right. And then look, the birds are separate. Right. So that way you can have your birds. You can use just birds if you want. Right. You can put the birds on the top of your birdhouse, on the perch. Yes. So you can flying put around wherever you want. Wherever they want to Remember, be. it's a directional shape, so if you want them to go the other way, flip that fabric facing Great down. Great tip. Okay. So we also have some fun paid downloads by our friend Marjorie Busby, who you met earlier in the show. Yes. And also V-Stitch Designs. Our good friends at V-Stitch and Marjorie. We have such talented people that work we with really us. do. Okay, first of all, V-Stitch, I love this fabric. This is great fabric. This, this is, is perfect for, for birdhouse. Yes. It would look fabric. How cool yes. is Isn't that? Yes, isn't that cute? Again, with that fun little stitch around the bird. Yeah, this is a fun flat stitch. Here's a blanket stitch. Mm-hmm. And then here this is kind one of fancy. with some fancy little, a uh, little fancy stitching. Yes, I love Marjorie's at Christmas because it makes that wreath around there. Too. I thought I that was super too. cool. Okay, this is my favorite of all of this them. This is so cute. I mean, because what birdhouse doesn't need a weather vane, right? Right. And this is the bird's wing. So, so the, the babies. So use the wing to make a baby bird. Is yeah. that not precious? Yeah. Isn't that cute? So if you use the 10 inch square, you can also, that's a great way to build your birdhouse too. Right. So think about the blocks, Erica, like you were talking about maybe making mini quilts or your mom lives in a retirement center, right? right? And they'd be great for her door each month. I could just switch it out for her. Mm -hmm. here, I'm gonna build my bird. Let's okay. have a red bird here. Let's do, cause we have so many. So you can see we had one earlier that we built on the eight and a half inch, and we put it on point. Here it is on the 10 and a half. Right. right, so you could make mini quilts out of them. You could do all of these fun little tiny projects and so many ways to finish them, right? Right, and if you don't have an embroidery machine, there are so many other ways you can finish applique projects. You can use a decorative stitch on your domestic machine. You can even use a straight stitch just inside the edge for right. raw edge quilting. Or you can do like we saw in some of our samples and just quilt right over the top Which of it. Which is what I did. There you go, especially if it's a mini quilt, a door hanging. Oh yeah. You're not gonna be washing it. Yeah. Maybe ever. 
maybe ever. So just fuse them down, have fun. Have some fun Be with creative. it. Creative. This is, again, uh, tomorrow we're gonna talk about it, but a great project for maybe older kids, you know, like sure. those tween ages. And, right. you know, Oakley can help me with that, you know, to right. set out the birds and birdhouses. So. Great for making teacher gifts and yes. things like that. Tea towels, we can tea totally make some. We're Everything needs that. to be on a tea towel. All right, Quilters, voting is now closed and we're about to announce today's expert winner, but we're gonna give away our final prize of the day. Let's say thank you to our quilters with one more die today. All right, one more lucky viewer is gonna win a bird and birdhouse die. Drum hole, please. Monette J from Shelton, Washington. Congratulations. Congratulations. You know where so many of these places are. these places today. All right, quilters, if you're like us and always looking for more inspiration, be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. Tomorrow, we're gonna make that Chirp Corners table topper. Be sure to register for the show on our events page to be entered to win our door prizes. It is gonna be so much fun and so easy. Such a fun project. All right, quilters, now the time has come. The team has counted all of your votes and it is time to announce today's expert winner. Is it going to be Tammy with her Go Bird and Bird House welcome sign? Or will it be Shannon with her Go Bird House organizer? Both of them were super cute. Super cute, I don't know how you all okay. decided. You voted and decided and the winner is huge drum roll, please. Tammy, Tammy congratulations. congratulations. So fun. That is just so clever. I love how both of our experts showed us how to make kind of crafty things. Yes, yes, I very think different super things. Fun. Yeah. All right, quilters, be sure to join us again next Tuesday, April 12th at 12 noon Central Time for a new event called Spread Your Wings. We'll be relaunching a die that will surely make your quilting ascend. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be great. Yes. And if you haven't yet, be sure you sign up to be an exclusive AQ Circle member. That way you're going to receive exciting emails and be among the first to know about everything, including sneak peeks and new products. If you were an AQ Circle member, you got a little sneak peek email That's this right. morning that showed you what the die was. It did. So sign up. You didn't have to wait till 12 noon Central Time. Sign up at AccuQuilt.com slash AQ circle. All right, quilters. Now, we also want you to be sure to register for all of our upcoming live shows, including AQ Live on Wednesdays, because we are drawing winners for our spring into quilting sweepstakes. That's right. During each Tuesday event, we're going to announce the weekly winner of $100 in AccuQuilt reward points from our list of registered viewers. That's right. And the sweepstakes grand prize winner of $500 and AccuQuilt reward points will be announced at the April 26th show. For, for each live event you register for, you'll receive one entry into the grand prize drawing, so take advantage by registering for all of our shows. That's right. And this week's winner of $100 in AccuQuilt reward points is, big drum roll please, Nancy B. from Colby, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Oh, she's going to just love that. going to love it. I just wonder what Fun you're going to buy. Tell us, tell us. Yes. All right, quilters, remember we have bundles for you today. To get your order in during the show, use your phone's camera to capture the QR image. It will take you right to the site. If you don't have a QR reader, just open a new tab in your browser. Type in AccuQuilt.com slash party to see these bundles and to place your order. Okay, first up we have the Go Bird and Bird House die with two 6x12 cutting mats. This bundle is valued at $100. You can get it today for just over $69, saving you over $29. Next we have our Go Bird Crazy Bundle. You'll receive the Go Bird and Bird House die, the Go Birds die, the Go Square 8.5 inch, 8 inch finish that we showed you earlier, two Go Cutting Mats that are 6x12, and the Go Birds Embroidery Design CD by Marjorie Busby. Now that goes with the Go Birds die. Yes. This bundle is valued at $231, but you can add it to your collection today for just $144.99. It's gonna save you over $85. Such a great deal. Such a great deal. And such, so many fun projects you can Absolutely. make. Absolutely. The final bundle we have available is the Go Bird and Bird House Cutter die. This is the one you want. If you're new to AccuQuilt, wondering what cutter you should get, it comes with the Go Bird and Bird House die and our Go Fabric Cutter Starter Set. This bundle is valued at $420. You can get it today for $349 and some change, saving you over $69.
And don't forget to apply that promo code MY40OFF to take 40% off of Go Dyes, Cubes, and Bundles. Some exclusions apply for this deal, including the bundles we just mentioned that are already marked down. So be sure to check out the website for all the details. So a great day to stock up on cubes and companions, strip dyes, pop dyes for days. Pop dyes for days, yeah. And applique for all your summer projects and think about, think Flower ahead. Power dyes. Right? Wow, all of those all things. All those fun things. And remember, if you, you'll get free shipping when your order reaches $100 or more if you live in the contiguous U.S. No code is needed to redeem this offer. You know, we have one thing we forgot to mention. Setting triangles. Well, yes, but we also forgot to tell people about our fusible and stable. Oh, let's do that. Oh, we totally yes. forgot. These are great items to throw in your cart if you are running short of that $100 for right. free shipping. So we've got a great medium weight stabilizer, which absolutely is absolutely perfect. Right. We've got a couple of different fusible products. There's a fuse and stick that we are almost out of, probably almost out of by out now. Of. Yeah. Um, and then a few, one called Fuse Me. We've got some soft, soft fuse. fuse. We have oh. a variety. So today is a really great day to just get it all and it will get all your basics to you get your, free. Get your yeah, because uh, mat I, bundles, get oh, your yeah. fusible. There's I just get the whole roll because then you know you're ready for Oh for my you. yes. All right. I can go through a whole roll of fusible in no time. In <laughs> no time. Quilters, we do have those go cutting mat bundles I just mentioned. So be sure to add those to your cart as well if you're wanting to meet that free shipping threshold. Listen, Pam and I can come up with all kinds of ways to get you up to yeah. over $100. It's not going to take much. Not a problem. Remember, you'll get double reward points when you make your purchases before midnight central time. It's almost 1 o'clock. Make sure you get these reward points towards your future AccuQuilt purchases. And hurry because when you place your order by 2 o'clock central time today, and like she said, it's almost 1, your order will be shipped within 24 hours, flying straight to you. Our team is already working hard. They're so busy back there. Okay, Quilters, last month was all about March Machine, Machine Madness at AccuQuilt. But if you missed out, no worries. We have, con uh, you, have we have you covered. The promo code CUT150, C-U-T-150, will take $150 off the Go Fabric cutter and ready set go system take advantage of this great offer while it's available don't forget that uh, ready set go comes with our go fabric cutter our eight inch cube our two and a half inch strip die all the mats you need this great book by eleanor burns and a die pick that's if you're right. new to accuquilt wondering how to start that's the system you need use cut 150 just add fabric that's right and remember you can quilt now and pay later check out accuquilt.com financing all right, it is time for us to go sew. Yes. Basketball is over, so now I we get must to sew. just sew some more. We hope you're as excited about as we are about the creative possibilities with our new Go Bird and Birdhouse die. That's right. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, well, now is that time, and here is the link. Get everything you need before it flies away. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt and embroider and applique more. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.